Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can trigger a circuit using your cell phone. And it's very simple to do. You're going to locate the vibration motor in your cell phone. They all have them. You can see in this image coming up right now what it looks like. I'll point it out. Once you locate that part, you're going to solder on two wires to the connections of the vibration motor. Once that stage is completed, you're going to connect up a digital multimeter to the leads leaving the vibration motor, and you're going to reassemble your phone. You're going to call your phone and make sure it's on vibration mode. And when the phone rings, you're going to want to have your digital multimeter set to the voltage range, DC voltage, and you want to check to make sure which wire going to the motor is positive and which one is negative, because that's very important to get the circuit to work properly. Once you establish which is positive and which is negative, as in this clip here, okay, now once you connect the two wires onto your vibration motor, you need to identify which is the positive and which is the negative before connecting this to the circuit that triggers the relay. So what you want to do is hook up a DMM, put it on DC volts 20 or 10 is fine, and you want to call the phone, have the vibration motor trigger, and verify that the red lead is indeed positive, and that'll be proven if the meter display comes up as a positive number. If it comes up with a minus, that means you have to switch the two leads and then you'll know which is positive and which is negative. I'm going to call the phone right now and demonstrate. Here we go. There you go. Pulses of 1.32 volts. Perfect. So this red wire is in the right spot. Going to the red probe. This is positive. Then, the circuit only consists of three parts. Doesn't get any simpler than this. A 9 volt relay, a diode, and a ultra sensitive gate thyristor. Now, I've tried a 2N7000 and it's, the cell phone just doesn't put out enough current to trigger it. You have to use this. It's an EC103D. And how it works, once the phone rings, the circuit will trigger, the relay will remain on indefinitely until you return home and turn off the circuit. Now the way to turn the circuit off would be to have a switch installed between the positive rail of the battery and the relay. So what happens, you want that to be a normally closed switch, but when you push it down, the circuit opens, allowing the thyristor to reset. You can call a cell phone, the circuit will trigger, and you can have it connected to another circuit, which would cycle something on and off if you wanted while you're away. A sprinkler system or anything else, you could have it connected to a, a solenoid that shuts off the main water in your house. There are a lot of good uses for the circuit, and hopefully no one abuses the circuit. I'm going to demonstrate right now how easy it works. A 9 volt battery feeds the whole circuit. Once the phone rings, the relay will close. And this, in this case, the circuit that would be triggered is going to be this drill. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate right now. You can see it's plugged into the wall receptacle. I have a drill laying on the floor next to the cell phone and the circuit. Phone in my hand. I'm going to dial my phone. All right. 
should trigger any minute. There you go.